this is AMD on the monthly chart and we can see price is closer to the resistance support band at the $100 level the next resistance support band is at the 135 level but the question is where will AMD and its price be in five years from now let's get into the article before we continue with the analysis with its shares up by an impressive 285 percent over the previous five years AMD has made for a solid long-term investment and while the iconic chip maker faces near-term cyclical challenges in the CPU market a pivot to AI hardware could unlock the next leg of long-term growth so let's get into their second quarter results it revenue fell 18 percent year over year after a 54 percent collapse in AMD's client segment which involves the sale of laptops and PC processors to consumer facing manufacturers with inflation and elevated interest rates customers are putting off buying these big ticket discretionary items or turning to cheaper options analysts at consultant company Gartner expect the PC industry to return to growth next year over the next five years AMD client segment could return to being a stable and reliable source of revenue but that's not where they're going to make their money in the next five years gen AI is a subset of AI where computer systems create new content analysts at Bloomberg expect this market to be worth 1.3 trillion by 2023 driven in part by rising demand for the training infrastructure needed to create these complex applications. While the opportunity is currently dominated by the industry leader, NVIDIA, which has 80% of the market, AMD is stepping into the ring with its own powerful AI hardware. Let's look at AMD's M1300X. It outperforms NVIDIA's flagship H100 in terms of memory with a maximum capacity of 192 giga bytes compared to 120 but with general manufacturing starting in the fourth quarter of this year it is later to the game than NVIDIA which expects to ship 550,000 H100 chips in 2023 alone that said demand for AI chips outstrips supply so there is plenty of room for AMD in the market even if NVIDIA maintains its lead AMD's future looks bright over the next five years, investors can expect the company to benefit from cyclical recovery in the PC and laptop market. Again, that's not where the money's at. While scaling up its enterprise GPU business as demand for a gen AI training surges, that's where the money's at. From a valuation perspective, the shares still trade at a reasonable 25 times forward earnings, which is in line with the S&P 500 average. So, again, big picture, price up the bottom of the range sitting within a resistance support band at the $100 level let's take it down to the weekly chart again we see, can see this leg higher in which price made higher highs higher lows now price is making lower highs and lower lows but price is at a key level in which we can see a reversal take place let's go down to the daily chart and when I look at the daily chart the most recent leg is down but what I see is more selling wicks supply lit wicks sell wicks than I do demand which tells me that price is still heading lower and that there is still headwind um, against price now this is the 200 day moving average it is roughly in the middle of this band and so like we saw here in late September we're going to see if price can bounce off of this what I'm calling a secular dynamic support level and potentially when price meets the 200 day moving average we'll be at that round hole psychological number at $100 whenever price does decide to hold and turn look for upside 
and a medium target at the 135 level. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.